Ladies and Jelly Beans, welcome back to the wonderful world that is Stupious Engineering. Today, we have in from Kaiweets a smart clamp meter, and it is actually really quite cool. I'll show you it in a second. And also a smart multimeter, a tiny little smart multimeter. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, digging it. Thank you for sending these in, Kaiweets. Let's do the review. Outside the house are a couple of solar panels hung on the wall and they feed into a set of batteries inside. Let me show you the batteries. The batteries, so there's a solar charge controller that comes in here, uh, a shed load of car batteries, as you can see. And uh, here we have uh, an inverter. It's a two kilowatt pure sine wave inverter underneath a whole bunch of cables, a really dangerous cable here, uh, which gives me the ability to be able to plug that inverter into the ring main in the house uh, obviously once the breaker switch is thrown do not do that at home people right <laughs> let's let's compare a unity clamp meter with a kiwi's auto ranging clamp meter so let's turn on the meter and let's put it on uh, it's now looking for ac uh, two amps range let's go ahead and change that to DC, we're now DC, and we can see that we've got a reading which is incorrect. We need to zero that reading. Then we can put the clamp meter on a cable, and we can see here 300 milliamps running through that cable. Uh, that was what was involved in reading a DC current coming from the solar panel outside. Ta da! There we go, we've changed to the Kiwi's auto ranging meter. Let's just turn it on. There we go, we turn it on, it goes through its little checks and it does a quick cal and then it's ready to do some reading. So it's now looking for current, voltage, resistance, and continuity. So just stuff that on there. Uh, we've got point nine of an amp uh, obviously the solar panels and everything and the charge regulator here is is changing ever so slightly as time's going whoops it's changing as time's going on so according to the charge controller uh, there is no current going into the battery at the moment so what i'm gonna do uh, just gonna fire up the system and that should draw i think when this thing's turned on it it, it draws about an amp um so we should now start to see some current coming into the system yeah there we go so the solar panels are now charging the batteries a little bit the batteries were fully charged basically um and if we come down here we can see that the kiwi's meter uh was indeed or is indeed showing us uh some current readings i mean that was just so nice and so easy all we had to do was turn it on and as soon as we turned it on it did an automatic calibration, so it self-zeroed the DC readings, and then we just popped it on there, and boom, straight away, it's saying DC current, 1.9 amps. No scrolling wheels, no pressing buttons to zero stuff, it's just all automatic. How lovely is that? So... <laughs> So everything these days that comes from China has to have a light built into it because they're cheap and easy. Uh, this one has one built into it. Um, I guess uh, it, it's sort of in an appropriate place, but it's also in an unfortunate position in the sense that you have to open the current clamp jaws in order for the light to, to work. But I suppose if you wanted to read labels on cables um then that light's in a really convenient place uh but yeah very cool uh interesting light it's daytime outside the solar panels and the charge control are saying they're putting about 14.6 amps into the battery let's get the current clamp meter in place and there we go we've got 15.6 according to the current clamp meter and 14.8 according to the charge controller so yeah that's um that's looking good and and it was literally that easy all right folks so what do you get in the box uh actually with most of kai Week's kit you do get a really nice case and we've got some cables and some leads and various other things in here 
uh, and then quite a fat hairy instruction manual so uh, when i say a fat hairy instruction manual it is multi 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 page thick. anyway i don't know why i'm bothering to show you that um everybody knows how to use a multimeter also are they nice cables or are they okay cable actually they're not bad um reasonably thick leads they're not the rubberized types of cables um but but also loving these um insulators here for the uh for the test for the test probe tips they're really quite nice and um then the banana jacks on the bottom of these have uh, little covers as well uh, i sort of want to throw these away because they're annoying it just takes you longer to put cables in what else and the other thing that you get in the box is a JK type thermocouple or a thermocouple of some description or another. So we're now in um, mains detection, non-contact uh, detection. Put this, there we go. Put this close to a cable. Yeah, and it tells us whether we've got high voltage or low voltage. Anyway, yeah, good stuff. That works. So we've got a couple of terminals on the bottom of it here that we can plug our cables into and it shows us which one's which. This one's common and this one is input. I have here a vintage light dependent resistor just holding the cables on the back of it and we can see there that we're around 150 ohms. Now that's going to change ever so slightly as the amount of light that touches that that hits the surface of that resistor so as we can see we're now up to nearly sort of 600 ohms take my finger off the top of it and we're back down to our 150 sort of ohms and what what is actually quite nice is um uh, when it auto ranges you'll see at the bottom of the screen there you'll see uh, a, a bar uh, uh, effectively uh, almost like a a meter that moves up and down and it shows you the range that it's on as well by telling you whether it's mega ohms kilo ohms and that kind of stuff so that's quite a nice little feature um clearly we can measure voltages uh, we've done current with the clamp meter at the top here there's no separate input terminal for current uh, it's only the clamp meter um with current uh we've got continuity which really won't be a big problem we've heard the thing beep already here we go Yeah, so we've got continuity. We also have a little visual indicator up here. And the other thing that I really like about this is the display is really quite clear and easy to read. And then we've got some um, diode, uh, a millivolts. So I guess um, if we get into uh, very small voltage scales, perhaps it has trouble ranging with millivolts. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, some meters, if you just hold one terminal and wave your arm around, there's enough um, enough stray voltage in your body to actually give you a meter reading. This one has basically blanked that out. But I guess if we change the function to millivolts, there we go, we can see those uh, millivolt readings. And if I actually grab the two here, then... Yeah, we get uh, we get a slightly higher reading. We can see there DC millivolts. So yeah, interesting, interesting to see that it, it can measure down to very small voltages as well, but it doesn't work in auto sense mode like that. Um, what's this? Oh, frequency. Okay, well, let's see if we can tap these together really. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Seriously, <laughs> um, frequency up to ten megahertz. Uh, from 0 0.001 megahertz would be minimum uh, frequency up to uh, 10 megahertz. So that's uh, quite interesting. So, And then we have here a capacitance checker. We also have a uh, temperature sensor. Uh, and actually, I've used this uh, already with its temperature sensor to measure my print head temperatures and check that uh, my print heads are running at the temperature they say they are. In fact, I'll just go ahead and show you that. Let's plug in the temperature sensor. Uh, 19 degrees centigrade here in the kitchen at the moment. If I put my finger on there, that should change. And we're immediately up to nearly sort of body temperature there, 30 degrees centigrade. <laughs> so excuse the messy fireplace, but uh, the fire is currently running a little bit. I'll just pop that in there. And we can have a quick look and we can see there that the temperature 
is going up significantly and um this will just be the uh, uh the the stove casing that's uh, currently sitting at about 50 degrees at the bottom here that's uh, a temperature where you could actually touch it and yes i can interesting so all in all i'm actually quite impressed with this um good rugged construction as well and quite a nice easy sort of like single-handed operation uh, and i think actually here uh, you have the ability to to plug in a scope probe there we go so you can so you can actually set it up so that you can use it to poke things with a uh, one probe connected to to the ground and another probe sort of in one-handed in a one-handed motion you can use it to uh, uh, poke things and get voltage readings around various areas perhaps if you're an auto mechanic or something along those lines for me it's all about the display the ease of use and the fact that it's a current clamp meter and it's just value for money really obviously there'll be a link to their website um, i believe they sell them on amazon if this is something that sort of makes sense for you then please feel free to have butchers i'm not earning anything from doing it these were sent to me free of charge by kiwits which is really kind of them i'm quite happy to have them and boom here we are this is another little kiwits invention this is a tiny tiny little handheld meter i absolutely adore it um let me just pull the plastic off of it so that we can scratch it properly at some point oh that's yeah yes yes another light <laughs> so yeah Everything Chinese these days seems to have a light associated with it. There we go. Press and hold this button here and we get a backlight for the display. Now, the display on this one isn't multicolor like the other Kai Wheats uh, device, but the fact of the matter is it has a nice backlight on it. I love the way the, pro the, uh, the scope probes can be um, contained neatly. Uh, on the back of this here and again it's a fully sort of auto sensing device so i'll put it this way up so you can see it a little bit easier uh, and i'll put those in place there we go so we've got 230.2 uh, uh, kilo ohms if i put my finger in front of this sensor uh, there we go we've got 0.5 kilo ohms so yep that's uh that's all working it's reading resistance nicely um, it reads voltage nicely. I'll get um, I'll get a battery. Let's just run through a bunch of these batteries real quick. So um, there we go, Kodak, and these are these are these are beasts. Uh, these are uh, Energizer lithium batteries. Uh, they last for quite a long time. Let's get our scope probes the correct way around. There we go. That's at one point six six four volts. I'm happy there's a good reason for me to keep these batteries. They all look like they're doing okay. So 1.5 volts for that one. Again, it has uh, sort of the near field um, mains detection. So if we press the button once, it then switches into mains sensing. Oh, there we go. Uh, and also it shows you what phase you're on as well which is interesting so currently this is saying we are yeah interesting look at that <laughs> i don't even i've never even used that i've never even used that function on a meter never even had that function on a meter before so yeah that's really quite interesting so folks yeah absolutely too adorable meters here so if you're in the market for something like this then why not go ahead and have a look at the kiwi's website very nice little meters hope you've enjoyed the review i know it's not been a really sort of technical tear downy in-depth review uh, but i just wanted to sort of show you the functionality of these meters so again thanks kiwi take care guys have a wonderful wonderful week and weekend and we'll catch you again in the not too distant future cheers and beers folks have a good one